In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate lines inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This video is sponsored by Motion Elements, but more about them later on. So animating lines inside of Adobe Premiere Pro is a little bit more complicated than After Effects, but it is very possible. So the first thing we want to do is to actually create a line. So we'll go to the pen tool and we can select two points. Now you could do bottom left to top right. You could do left to right, whatever you want to do. But if you want to create a perfectly straight line, then I would recommend going into the settings window and turning on the safe margins. So we could select this point and we could select this point and that will give us that perfectly straight line. Alternatively though, you could just select one point, hold shift on the keyboard and then move over to the right and that will be perfectly straight. So once you have created your line, we now want to go in to shape one and we can make some adjustments. So obviously you can see the stroke is turned on in my example. It might not be in yours, it might be fill, which in that case it might look like this but you want to turn fill off, turn stroke on and just adjust the weight of this so you can make this thinner, thicker, completely your call. Now from here, there are many different ways we can animate this on and off. So the first method is the masking method. So we would go to video, motion, go down to opacity and we would just draw a rectangle mask around this line. Then we would go to the very beginning. We would move that mask over to the left so it disappears. Create a brand new keyframe on mask path, move over. And this all depends on how you want this to animate. Do you want this to animate on and stay on, or do you want this to animate across so like it's animating over? So if you wanted to animate on and keep it on screen, then we would just move the mask over to the right and just keep that there. So at the two second mark, this animates on and stays there. And to speed that up, all we're going to do is jump into opacity. You can see these two keyframes here you just shorten the gap. So just make that ever so shorter. It's taking a shorter amount of time to get from point one to point two, and you end up with this. So this is how you animate it on, but if you wanted to animate it past, then you would just pull the keyframe all the way past. So it's going to travel over that line and then disappear like that. So that's one way to animate your line. And again, if you wanted to slow this down, speed this up, that's all controlled by those keyframes. So by increasing the gap, it's slowing that down. Now, of course, you'll notice in this example, it animates on and then it animates off, even though we are sliding past. And that is because the mask is really long. So rather than having this really long mask, let's just delete that. Let's shorten the length of this. That's a much shorter mask now. We'll pull that over to the left at the beginning. Then we'll go a few seconds in and we'll just move that all the way to the right, following the path of that line like this. Now, when we play this back, this is what we get. So you can see rather than the whole line appearing, it's now just a short section of the line. And if you wanted to, you could actually go into the mask and increase the mask feather. So if you do that, it's going to soften off the edge and that might help to make a nicer effect. Before we carry on with this video, I first just want to take a very brief moment to talk about Motion Elements. Motion Elements is an online marketplace for stock video, Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro templates, title sequences, animations. There's so much for you to love there. And Motion Elements and I have teamed up for one year. They are the channel sponsor. So they are giving you an exclusive 70% off your first month when you subscribe. So if you want to speed up your editing and create amazing graphics in next to no time, then please consider checking out Motion Elements. The link is in the description below. Now back to the video. So that is the first method. That is the masking method. You can also do the crop method. So if you go into effects, search for crop, drop that onto the graphic. Then from there, you can see you've got left, top, right, bottom. So this is where it will crop from. So if we're animating from left to right, we want to crop the right. So we'll increase that all the way up until it disappears, which is around 90 in my example. We'll create a brand new keyframe on that towards the beginning. Then we'll move over a little bit in time and we'll pull that down until the whole line is there. So in this example, that's around nine or 10%. So this is what we have. Animates on, nice and simple. But if you wanted to do the effect where it animates on and then animates off at the same time, like a passing line, 
then you would go halfway through that motion. We'll go to left and we'll create a brand new keyframe on left at zero. Then we'll go the same amount of time over to the right as the previous set and we'll increase that all the way up until it disappears again. So when we play this back, this is what we get. And feel free to move those keyframes around to change the look of that. Again, feel free to make it quicker by decreasing the gap between those keyframes. And the beauty is by doing it this way rather than masking, we can actually lean into easy ease keyframes. So we're changing the look and the feel of the keyframes. So rather than starting and stopping, we're easing in and out of motion. So if we highlight the two first keyframes, right click, select ease out. Then we'll highlight the second two keyframes, right click and ease in, not ease out, ease in. Now, as you can see, that looks a lot different to how it did before. It's just adding a little bit more character to the graphic. So have a play with those keyframes, do what you need to do. But that is essentially how you would animate a line inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. If we were in After Effects, I would say use trim paths. And trim path is just a case of setting the start point and the end point. It's so much easier. But Premiere is a little bit more complicated in that step. It doesn't have the trim path support. So this is just a great workaround. So if you have the option, After Effects is definitely preferred, but it is very possible in Premiere. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.